if we catch 10 one pound bass out of our pond. Dude. So we are back with another video. I know you haven't seen me. It's been a while. I've been at school. Dad just should tell my, I don't know. Just tell him that I should take a week off. Really? Yeah. You think you, so before, you need a week vacation already, huh? Yeah. Before we get started, go down there, subscribe, ring the notification bell, so you'll never miss another video that we post. So, actually, which, we're posting a video today, I think. So, let's just get into the video. So, we are here at the pond, obviously. And, wh what is that right there? Snake? No. It's probably tilapia, bud. Okay, so as I was saying, we are here at the bass pond, and you can see it's a little muddy, because it kind of rained while we were at school. So, as I was saying, we are here at the pond to jabber. To jabber? What's our plan? What are we doing? You're we, just... are, we are here to lead the morning announcements. You're silly. No. That's so, uh, don't listen to Houston. Sometimes he just likes to ramble. So, our goal today, as hard as this is for me to say and hard as this is for me to do, <clears throat> our goal today is to catch a couple bass, a couple of our very highly valued black bass, the largemouth bass, to do a catch, clean, and cook. Now, there's a reason for it. We're not just because we want to go kill a bass. Uh, I know a lot of you hardcore bass fishermen just can't stand the thought of someone eating a largemouth bass. But earlier this year, we did a shock survey with Pond King, and part of our management strategy is to remove about 10 pounds of largemouth bass from the pond per year. And uh, that was back in the spring, and we haven't kept a bass yet. <laughs> But it's just like this. So if you want to go out and you want to grow a really nice rose garden and you have all these rose bushes, every once in a while you have to prune a rose bush to make it better. And it's the same way with the pond. So we're going to go harvest a couple bass out of our pond, hopefully. It's, I mean, perfect out here this evening. It is gorgeous. We're talking like 65 degrees, no wind. But with all the rain, we've had the ponds a little muddy. So we're going to start off fishing with some jigs. I think Houston's going to use a, a black and blue uh, jig. And I'm going to go with like a crawfish or a bluegill colored jig. I don't know. Here we go. Let's go catch a bass. Aren't you going to push us out in the water? Yeah. Oh, you want me to? I'll see you later. You can't go without me. Yeah, Bella, you're too fast. <laughs> Bella, you're too big to go. But I think Gemma can go today. We'll take Gemma. How do you put this in the water? Hey, why don't you let me take care of that? Okay. Fine. So you got our live well? <laughs> For our fish that we hopefully catch? Mm-hmm. Gemma, you gotta move. Well, let's fish. Here, let me get that so you don't get a hook in you. So here's what Houston's gonna be using. A little black and blue jig. This, whoa, easy now. Anyways, those are extremely good bass lures. The Sometimes. dirty, muddy, stained water is usually perfect for the black and blue color. Well, why don't you throw it halfway across the pond? Hey, we hit a tree. That's why the trolling motor quit running for a second. We had a stump. Wait. You got one? Got one. First fish. Is it big? I bet it's the seven pounder. Not really. really? No, not really. Yeah, that's a good one. Perfect eating size. Oh, Houston. Are you? What? Are you kidding Are you me? You sure? You got a hook on my lure? Are you kidding me? No. I tried to lift him up out of the water. 
Probably should have waited and Are you got him serious? closer to the boat and lift him, but I thought I could lift him up with the fishing pole. <sighs> Try again. You're not even fishing anymore. <laughs> Are you? Yeah, I still am. Scared me to death. I got the camera. It felt like a monster. You're not recording. Yeah, I am. Oh, okay. I said it felt like a monster until it jumped, and then it looked like not a monster. <laughs> All right, Houston. That is pretty big. Don't lose this one. For real. Jim and no. <laughs> Jim is going to go after it. Jim and no. We got one! <laughs> Yes! It's a good thing I was still fishing. You just twirling your pole around in circles. Hey, don't talk about it. <laughs> well, looks like we got at least one fish to take home and cook. Yeah. Perfect little, probably. Hey, 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 look at that. Look at that fin right there. Hey. Look at that fin right there. Are you even pointing the camera in the right direction? <laughs> yeah, now I am. Look at that fin. Look What's at wrong it. with it? Oh, yeah. Got something going on there, doesn't it? Could you move your hand? Yeah, sorry. That's, a bit, that's bad. Probably going to lose a fin soon. Uh, <laughs> I would say he's going to lose all of his fins <laughs> soon, buddy. <laughs> I get what you mean. Come on, Houston. I'd like for you to catch at least one more bass. Come on, Dad. You catch it. You're just making me do all the work. You got this, bro. What do you mean you do all the work? You ain't caught a fish yet. Oh, I had a bite. I had a bite. Not lying. Huh. Maybe or you should I, or, pay attention or, to fishing instead of or, talking. Or I just hit the tree. Yeah, it looks like you hit the tree. Huh. Trees are over there. No trees over there. I meant like <laughs> underwater. Oh, an underwater oh, tree. Yeah, okay, I got thought. you. I got you. What are you doing? Putting your pole down? Yeah, you, you put your oh, down. Oh, so we're... Calling it quits with me beating you again. I don't. Y'all probably know what I'm going to say. <laughs> care. Ah, I bet you do care. Bella wants on this boat so bad she can't stand it. Well, the muddy water conditions and probably the temperature drop. And the water temperature has probably dropped considerably over the last couple hours. I mean, last couple days. Our temperatures have been in the 50s at night and it's been amazing. You're making it really hard to talk to the camera. So we only caught one. Well, technically I caught two fish. One we got one half. in the boat. One in the half. But uh, I guess if you only catch one fish, that doesn't mean you can't do a catch, clean, and cook. Technically, it just means we could do it ten times if we catch ten one-pound bass out of our pond. Dude. I'm glad I got that on video. You weren't paying a lick of attention, sitting there spinning your seat, and you fell plumb in the water when we hit the boat. Why don't you give me a hand? I lost my shoe. Hey, maybe you should pay a little bit more attention. You just fell in the water hey, when I we was, hit the bank. I was already planning on taking a shower. <laughs> I can laugh now. <laughs> So I told Houston I was having a hard time even focusing talking to the camera because he's just sitting there spinning his chair and spinning his chair and he didn't know we were fixing to hit the bank and he you fell didn't in. Say anything. And your crock is still in the water, buddy. You got to go get your crock. Nope. Yeah, you are. Did you get it? Mm -hmm. That was fun. All right, let's try this crash landing one more time. He hit a stick. You know what? That was pretty funny. I thought you fell completely in, but you grabbed a hold of the side. I knew it wasn't deep. It was only a couple inches deep right there, so I wasn't was worried like, about you, but... It was like that feet deep. <laughs> but only my leg... And then just barely right here got in. Yep. Maybe you should pay I attention. Hey, I was paying 
I was planning on taking a shower anyways. There, watch out. There are one lonely bass. I'm gonna get him filleted up and I think what I'm gonna do is actually leave the skin side on and cook him like we did those uh, those red snapper that we brought back from Pensacola this summer. So I'm just gonna go in behind that fin right there. All the way down to the backbone. All right, so we're not gonna be frying these fish, you guys. I say these fish, these two fillets. <laughs> but you guys have seen us fry fish for years. So we're just gonna be cooking these on the Pit Boss pellet grill. Uh, hashtag not sponsored. Even though they offered, I turned it down. My wife bought me this for Father's Day because she's awesome. So we're gonna fire this up, let it get up to about 300 degrees. And it won't take very long to cook these at all. There's two fillets. We left some skin on, scales on, everything. Just gonna season them up with a little bit of Everglades fish and chicken. And once upon a time, like last year, <laughs> Jimmy Houston made fun of us a little bit. He kind of poked fun at me in Houston because we went to a local lake and fished for a couple hours. We made a whole video, caught one fish. And Jimmy was like, hey, Daniel, you're the only guy I know that'd make a video about catching one fish. Well, then about fast forward about six months later, probably uh, three or four months into 2020, Jimmy called me one day and he was like, hey, so I posted a video this year, early this year, like, and uh, caught one fish off the dock. He said at like April or May, whatever it was, that was his most popular video of the year. So he quit laughing. I said, Jimmy, it's not about the quantity of the fish, but the quality of the video, right? What in the world? Where's your clothes? Already been in the shower, huh? All right, back to our one fish video. We're just gonna season them up with some of this Everglades fish and chicken. This is, you know, a deer meat for dinner kind of video. He, he uses the, the Everglades all the time. And then we're just gonna throw them on the pellet grill. One fish, two fillets. So we're gonna kind of get them away from the direct heat. They are two lonely little fillets. They're pretty well done. So I've learned just from grilling a little bit of fish, I'm not an expert at this by any means, but you can tell when that fish starts to flake apart, they're pretty well done. It smells good, so I'll tell you that. I don't know. You don't know? I don't All know right. what it's Listen to me. Just eat the meat off the skin. Don't try to eat the skin, okay? Well, that wasn't even a bite. Come on, boy. Pretty good. You're gonna have to cut into it a little better than that. Don't try to get the skin. I didn't. Good. Dude, look at that skin. Yeah, it's still got the scales on it. Don't eat the skin. I repeat, don't eat the skin. I repeat, I don't care. Oh, you will if you eat the, eat the scales. Hot. You think we can get your mama to try it? I'm kind of busy. Well, let's give it a little taste test. I'm gonna say it's probably not gonna be as spectacular grilled as that red snapper that we cooked a while back. It's pretty tasty, but it's no red snapper. I love my pellet grill. It was a gift from my wife for Father's Day. Cook all kinds of stuff on it. We made we made pizza. We made uh, pork butts. We've done just about everything you could imagine on that pellet grill, and uh, <laughs> I like it. Awesome. All right, mom, you're the uh, official taste tester. I will say this: I love a largemouth bass, breaded and fried, golden crispy. It smells fishy. It smells fishy, huh? It smells fishy. My wife hates fish that taste like fish, I mean, by the way. Mm, it's a 
not as bad as I thought it was going to be because of the smell. Well, it, part of that is is I didn't scale them and the skin is still on. So that's part of it probably. I kind of did it in a hurry. But it is very white flaky fish. It is. It's, it's really good. It's a lot of flavor, juicy. Mm. Oh, it's very juicy. That's one thing about cooking on that pellet grill is it's going to be very juicy. But I'm telling you what, it's... It definitely comes in second behind the red snapper on the grill, right? Um, yes. That was amazing. That was amazing. Well, Houston, <laughs> I'm sorry I outfished you again. I don't care. I have to do that every once in a while because people don't believe that I can outfish you. They think you outfish me all the time. Well, sometimes I do. Sometimes you do. Sometimes I outfish you. And guess what? I'm not ashamed of posting a video catching one fish, which technically I caught two. You guys saw him. I lifted no, him up out of water. one and a half. One and a half. Well, when you and Emily were competing in the uh, at the creek with those little ex expandable, the world's smallest fishing rods, the rule was if it came out of the water, it counted. I don't care. Oh, so the rules change when it's me, huh? Well, yeah, because you're not my sister. You're my dad. Oh. Um, thanks for clicking on this video. You're out of practice, buddy. I'm out of Man, words. I've been school is just rough on you. You had totally forgot how to YouTube. I know, I know. It's just like making me lose my mind of YouTube. Because I'm not home very much. So, were you going to be able to end this video or am I going to have to do it for you? So, guys, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoy it. And as always, we'll see you in the next video. Peace.